My name is Matthew Modine, and I'm the president of Hyper Chariot, inviting you to join the 4,000 mile per hour club. What does the future look like? That's a question that people have been asking for thousands of years. I remember when I was a little boy and had the opportunity of visiting Disneyland for the first time. The Epcot Center was a place designed by Walt Disney. Epcot stood for the experimental prototype community of tomorrow and was a representation of Disney's vision of what the future might look like. And inside this, uh, this dark space was this gigantic table with uh, with a, a city of the future and surrounded by a monorail. And it, it, it just looked so clean and, and efficient and transportation looked so um, exciting. Um, then, you know, you start watching cartoons and you see the Jetsons and you see flying cars. And um, so, and then, you know, as you get older and you watch television commercials and you start to study those television commercials about particularly automobiles and automobile travel. Car commercials represent a world with no traffic. Empty roads and highways, cars racing through country roads. What we're being sold is an illusion. The truth is, there's more traffic than we ever imagined possible. If, if, if traffic flow was like the circulatory system of a body, uh, what it would demonstrate is that we're uh, about to have a heart attack, that there's just too many clogged arteries. So we have to find some new form of transportation, a new way to get from one place to another that is efficient and fast and fun. An opportunity to travel in a clean, efficient way that is exciting and has the promise of what so many people imagine the future might look like. Hyperchariot is developing evacuated tube transport technologies. Think of it as a maglev limo in a network of evacuated tubes eventually hitting speeds of 4,000 miles per hour. Hello, I'm Nick Garzilli. I'm the founder and CEO of Hyper Chariot, and we are building the physical internet. This is my ET3 Hyper Chariot scale model. It's 122 size, in case you wanted to know. But this kind of gives you an idea of the distance between the inside of the tube and the outside of the capsule. This is how it flies through on the the, mag the magnets are, the permanent magnets arranged so we have a hallback array up on the top and the bottom. And then this is the cryostat where we have the superconducting material and the liquid nitrogen. It snaps on to the top of the capsule here. And um, that, that's how it stays in place. So the ET3 uh, capsule carries four to six people or one to three pallets of cargo. It pops out so you can get a little bit better, better view of it. Hyperchariot is focused on breakthrough and transport. For the people that say, nah, you can't, you won't be able to do that. Well, the Wright brothers, when they had the idea of flying, right, they looked up in the sky, they saw birds, and they said, I wonder if there's a way that we as humans can do that. And so as we look to space, and, and the idea of how we've had astronauts out in space and landing on the moon, that we will, it's not if, it's just when we will bring this mode of transport, the fifth mode of transport, to the planet. So I would say within this next decade, we will be traveling 4,000 miles per hour. Here's your chance to reserve your place in line. Donate now and get a ticket to ride the Velocitator. Donate $25 and we'll send you this Hyper Chariot dog tag, which demonstrates your support of the project. Donate $50 and we'll send you a dog tag and two tickets to ride the Velocitator. That when that science fiction becomes science fact, that the, the possibilities, the, the, the math, the, the, uh, the science to support this kind of travel exists. Happen. We can't do it alone. Hyperchariot, we're the vehicle, right? The company, the vehicle that's making it happen. 
but we really want you to be part of this. Once again, my name is Matthew Modine, and I look forward to seeing you in the 4,000 Mile Per Hour Club. Where she stopped.